hundreds of Jews in the center of Tel Aviv protesting this one-sided slaughter. And they are being attacked by right-wing mobs chanting death to Arabs and Muhammad is dead. Right-wing mobs like the mob across the way who do not represent Jews when there is no Jewish consensus on Israel, there is no Jewish consensus on a Jewish state. We say no more aid to Israel, no more apartheid. Thousands of us have signed a letter declaring an end to U.S. aid to Israel, calling for an end to apartheid. We were just joined by Ronnie Casrills. Ronnie Casrills, who stood by Mandela, a Jewish South African who fought apartheid. There is no Jewish consensus anywhere on the state of Israel. Zionism is a narrow, racist movement and you don't represent us. But what we're seeing from Washington is a total consensus. And I know you all watched as liberals like Bernie Sanders and Barbara Boxer and Elizabeth Warren voted for the one-sided slaughter in Gaza. 100 to nothing in Washington for the slaughter in Gaza. 100 to nothing for the bombing of UN schools. 100 to nothing for the dropping of 3,000 tons of explosives on the Gaza Strip. 100 to nothing for the destruction of Shujaa. 100 to nothing for the destruction of Han Yunus. They don't represent us either, and that's what we're here to say. Now in Washington, they say that we share values with Israel. They say we have shared values. And they're right in a lot of ways. The problem is, those values are all the wrong ones. Because the U.S. and Israel increasingly make a mockery of democracy. The U.S. makes a mockery of democracy when Education Secretary Arne Duncan says that the best thing that ever happened to public education in America is Hurricane Katrina, then proceeds to privatize all the public schools from New Orleans to Baltimore to Philadelphia to Chicago. Israel makes a mockery of democracy when it bombs schools in Gaza, when it bombs schools in the West Bank. Yes. The U.S. makes a mockery of democracy when it warehouses kids on our border, Central American kids who've come here to unite with their family. Israel makes a mockery of democracy when it warehouses kids in the Gaza Strip simply because they're not Jews, simply because they were born as Palestinians and forces them to live in an open-air prison. The U.S. makes a mockery of democracy when it lets cops off light for killing Oscar Grant and for killing Eric Garner and Bill Bratton moves from LA to Oakland to New York and gets promoted. Israel makes a democracy when it lets the killers of Mohammed Abu Huder plead insanity. We know that they are sane members of an insane society. That is not democracy. What we need to do excuse today me, sir, sir, excuse me. Sorry. is focus right here in this imperial capital, in this center of the benefactor of the occupation. What we need to do today is what Fannie Lou Hamer asked us to do, to turn the Statue of Liberty around, force her to take that torch of liberty down and stare at the nightmare on her own shores, force her to hear the cries of Mohammed Abu Huder, force her to hear the cries of Oscar Grant and the cries of Eric Garner's family, force her to hear the cries of those four backer boys who were slaughtered on a beachfront in Gaza by Israeli naval gunners. We need to take liberty back. We need to take freedom back. This is freedom. This is democracy. Washington doesn't represent us right now. This is democracy. This is freedom. This is freedom. This is freedom. Freedom! Freedom!